2 may have been pushed back into 2010, but don't let that get you down. Blizzard is taking its time to make fans happy. We've already covered the multiplayer portion of the game extensively, so let's focus on the single player. For those of you who didn't know, the Wings of Liberty story focuses on the Terrans. You'll still be able to play as the Protoss and the Zerg in the multiplayer, but the Terrans will be the star of the single player experience. The story kicks off four years after Brood War, and series favorite Jim Raynor returns as your main character. The past four years haven't been kind to Jim. Emperor Minsk is trying to reestablish dominion over the entire galaxy, and he's branded Jim as an outlaw. As a result, Jim is taken to freedom fighting and heavy drinking. After a few surprises that we won't spoil, he'll find himself on the battle cruiser Hyperion, ready to recruit people for his cause. The story seems to be about him recovering from his fall from grace and becoming the hero that he once was. The Hyperion is where you pick up missions and upgrade your troops. Although you'll start out only with a limited number of buildings and units, you'll be able to spend cash earned from every mission on different things. The choice is a big deal in StarCraft 2. It even extends inside of the missions themselves. There's this one mission where you have to escort colonists off the planet of Agrian. You can walk them to the spaceport, try to ambush attackers, or build up your forces and cleanse the entire area in one bloody swarm. Get you boys out of there. There are also side objectives such as artifacts and crystals that can be collected in the midst of battle. You have to decide if it's worth it to go off and explore the entire map, or if you want to just focus solely on the mission. We're getting tore up out there. There's also a lot of variety to the maps. One of my favorites is Redstone. Every few minutes, the lava on this fiery planet will rise from the Earth and wipe out everything it touches. The mission's objective is to collect 8,000 minerals during this insanity. So once again, you're presented with choices. Should you spend your minerals to build up defenses, or just try to collect everything in one go? If you're extra sneaky, you can lead enemy units right into a lava ambush. Evacuate low ground immediately. From what I've played, StarCraft II's Terran campaign is looking pretty sweet. It seems to be story-driven, has a lot of variety to it, and fans will be pleased. In other words, 2010 can't come soon enough. For more updates on the game, including additional info on the single and multiplayer modes, head over to IGN.com. I knew you'd find your way here. Eventually.